Okay, hi all. Today I'm going to talk about ligand exchange. And our scope is until air level, A2 level. So, first of all, why should I bother about it? The first question that we're going to ask is why should I bother about it? Well, in our real world, there's a great deal of chemicals that especially chemicals engineers and chemists actually need to know about the mechanisms of the, how the chemicals function so that we can operate a chemical reactions safely. Alright, the second question is, what is a ligand? What exactly is a ligand? And this here, ligand is actually a neutral atoms or a neutral molecules or even an ion that actually bonds to a central matter ion. So like this, in this case, water is a ligand. Alright, so we move to the next question. What is a ligand exchange? Actually, ligand exchange is the ligand on a metal ion that actually being replaced by the other ligand. So I will show you an example how it occurs. Alright, so this is an example. This is a Cu2 plus ions inside the test tube. It is blue in color. And after ligand exchange occurs, it changed to green. But why? So first of all, we add in concentrated HCl. HCl contains chloride ions. And chloride ions added into water, the chloride ions actually replace the water ligands. The Cl minus acts as a ligand here. And it replaced the water, it actually changed to green. Supposedly, it is supposed to change to yellow, but why not yellow? It's because this reaction is a reversible reaction. It will not go to completion, means that there will still be some CuH2O6 2 plus complex ions inside the test tube. That's why when blue and yellow mix together, it can actually change to green color. So this is the ligand exchange shock. 